Welcome to this How to Scan for Surgical Guide series, where we will explain how to scan for a particular case. In this video, we will show you how to scan a patient with a single implant. Here we have a missing first molar. The region has several anatomical structures that have to be taken into consideration. So we're going to use the trios to scan the quadrant to facilitate implant planning and the design of a tooth supported with a surgical guide. When scanning for a tooth supported surgical guide, it's important to scan the teeth, but also the soft tissue in the region of interest. And not only the top surface of the crest, but all the way down on the sides. Start your scan from the occlusal on the most posterior tooth, following the official scan strategy. When turning lingual, try to go as deep as possible, using the tip to push the tongue aside. If possible, with a 70 to 80 degrees angle, so that the scanner can grab images of the whole crest. Turn to the buccal side, covering the area behind the molar, the retromolar area, in case we need the support for the guide. Go buccal again, as deep as possible, with a 70 to 80 degrees angle to also cover the soft tissue. Now we have a digital model with enough height on which to stabilize the guide. We also have a good view of the soft tissue. This is important to get a good understanding of the surrounding areas. Please note that for a successful and a predictable outcome, it is imperative that the implant site and the surrounding areas are fully covered by the scan. If needed, go back and cover the missing areas. When we now look at the digital model, we can see that we have got about 15 millimeters of the surface that we can place the guide on. Remember to scan the quadrant so you have the freedom to rest your guide on as many teeth as possible to get the desired stability. You have now learned how to scan a patient with a single implant. We hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.